Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Minecraft with Zul'jin. Um, got a few things to show you. The first thing I want to do is I'm going to try out this texture pack uh, one more time. This is the Painterly Pack. You can um, I googled it and searched for Painterly Pack real easily, customizable, and um, just a gorgeous pack to play with. Um, and I want to show you guys some updates on the place since I've been worked a little bit off camera um, did a couple of things that I said I was gonna do so uh, let's take a look at that um, one thing I worked on is the storage area I went ahead and completed that for the most part uh, might make it a little de deeper in the future because I don't really have all the chests that I'm going to need uh, for everything that I'm gonna collect in the immediate future I do so I don't have to work um, and here we are this is this is the semi-finished product um, I went ahead and put signs up and torches which are now like candles for all of the uh, the miscellaneous stuff I might collect um, I don't really want to spoil any anything so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and venture out I had a request to do a form and um, I really do need a renewable source of food so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of some of this stuff. I'll reorganize it a little later. Oh, I also put some of the glass up front and uh, got me some food cooked. So that should do quite nicely. Um, but yeah, what I did here is put some glass out front. I'd like to make this area dock sooner or later. Um, so that's what I'm going, that's why I left it like that for now. So I got a design in mind for the form, something that I saw a while back. It's not too large, but uh, it's pretty neat. And I'd like to do it inside, actually. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to burrow out just a little bit. And um, I'm going to make this go by rather quickly for you guys so you can see what I'm doing, but you don't have to... Uh, you don't have to sit through the torture. So, uh, let's get started with that.
Have it guys, all cleared out, except for a little bit of cosmetics here. This is no problem though, this is just to make it look good. I want to look better. Well, <laughs> we're already outside. double place in a little bit the texture pack slowing me down just a tad but I think it's worth it it sure is pretty that's for sure we'll try to make it work sorry it gets dark every once in a while guys I'm also going to increase the brightness just a tad bit more just so you can see when it's real dark where I am. Did I... Wait, let's see. Huh. How did I do that? Four and four. Okay, well, that's just a bit strange that I did that. Okay, so anyway, to start this form off, what I'm going to need is a little bit of wood. So let's go and grab that. What am I doing? Oh, I do have wood. I have some right there. Great. I'm also going to need seeds, uh, which I don't have right now. Um, I guess we're going to need to go in the world and get some, right? Let's see, is it still night time? It sure is. I'm going to go ahead and cut the video, guys. When we come back, we'll get ready and go on a venture. Hey, guys, just wanted to show you how to make a hoe right quick. A um, couple of sticks and a couple of stone or wood or iron is all you need to make a hoe. I already had one here in inventory, but I wanted to show you guys. And these are seeds. Seeds are harvested by cutting on big grass. Um, see that shaggy grass over there by those pumpkins? That's all you gotta do is break up this grass and they'll yield seeds for you. Now once you get seeds you can plant them into uh, freshly tilled soil which you get by using a hoe on dirt and they'll um, they'll plant a seed and with proper lighting and water you get a uh, you'll get wheat which can be turned into bread and um, that's definitely a good renewable source of food so yeah, just getting some seeds here and um, I'll go ahead and speed this up for you guys just to just so it doesn't get so boring Alright you guys, I got enough seeds. 
now we can start on the Foreman project. I'm just going to go back in here to the little room that I set up for it. Grab by the storeroom and pick up some dirt. from earlier when I was setting up the storeroom. So here we go. I'm going to make... Let's see, let's measure out the area here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So if I go three in and do one, two, three, four, uh, let's do five, two in. There we go. All right, and this is where my water is going to go. Now, I will have water that spills in to the ground right here. But I'm also going to have pistons underneath it. And pistons are movable powered parts that can be used to fill holes, push things, things like that. Um, but what I'll do is, by placing the water here, in there, uh, water will automatically spew into this trough here. Well, that's not... Yeah, that's, that's how I want it. The water will spew into this trough here. Well, if pistons are here, then I can use them to push up, which will mean there is going to be no gap in between here and here, meaning the water will flow straight forward. And by walling in this section here, I want to come that far out. Let's see, this will be one, two, three, four, five. How many seeds do I have? 24. And this is five. Five by five is 25. I don't think I have enough seeds. <laughs> oh well. I'll continue anyway. Yeah, I'd like to have 30, I believe. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, six deep. And here we go. Actually, let me go ahead and cut these off for now. Okay. So the next order of business here is going to be to make a bucket, grab some water, and make some pistons. So um, I'll go ahead and gather those supplies up. I'll come back when it's, when it's time to make a piston, and I'll show you how we're going to get these things go to the next episode. So uh, thanks for watching. This is Zul'jin, and uh, we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.